RGTV. 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 Hello, my name is Rick Carson. I'm the CEO of Make Believe Studios located in beautiful downtown Omaha, Nebraska, and I am here with RGTV. I'm a dude. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. I've been in Omaha for, I think, seven years, and I've lived all over America and a few other spots in the world now, but I came to Omaha solely based on market research and Tim Casher music. I, uh, I stayed because of the people and other people's music, but you know, when I really started decided to come here, I, I found people like Derek and Tristan and Justin and, and Demo and their music and started working with those people and we really blossomed. But you know, for me, I believe that Omaha is definitely the land of opportunity. Make Believe has a few different tentacles at this point in its life, but it's you know, it's a collective of people who work very hard. That's what I look at it as, you know, the building blocks, I guess, of Make Believe. But um, it's a recording studio. There's also Make Believe New Media, which does a lot of digital arts and design and, you know, computer stuff, computer animation, digital video editing, stuff like that, color correction for tons of different people here in town. And then there's Make Believe Recordings, Make Believe Records, which is our record label, and uh, we put out records for people that we like. Well, I mean, I think the greatest one is Make Believe in general. I feel like it's kind of taken on, you know, depending on who you are, it's taken on its own its own legend, which is kind of a weird word for me to say, but you know, some people are really close to it and it's motivating because they see what their friends are doing and they see what their friends are accomplishing and then some people are just motivated by the hate, you know, they're like, well, fuck if, you know, they can do that, well, fuck them, I can do that, you know, and all of that's good. I get down on all that. We got a number one record with Terrace. He came in here and recorded his record with his dad and we, uh, we also mastered that record here, which was really, really cool. Um, Sput Seawright came in here with Terrace, and then from from there, I've, I've actually started working with Sput, and I, I do a lot of his mixing and mastering, and we had a number one record together as well. Um, yeah, then my my dudes in AWOL Nation, I mean, they've got the, like, the number two or number three longest selling song in the history of the Billboard charts. So, Sale has just been killing it, and that song Run is out there killing it now. They'll actually be here in June, I believe. So, I mean, I love working with those dudes. We uh, we only did one session, but we had Adam from Owl City in here. We do a lot of great work for people that I would consider are bigger than the Omaha music community, but they never enter our studio. You know, I do a lot of mixing and mastering for people from Los Angeles, New York, and other cities all over the country and all over the world. And those people, they don't actually have to come here, you know, we right. need to do those things for them. So. Um, they haven't been to Make Believe, but they know about Make Believe, they know what it is, and they know what we're about, and I think they're all really excited, so that's super tight. Well, I mean, I think that we're in a great space. I think it's a great space for anybody to make any sort of record, whether you want to hole up in one room and stay in that room until the record's done, or you want to split it amongst multiple dudes working in different rooms the way Michael Jackson would do it. You know, you can do anything you really want here, which I think is really really amazing and it's also it's more productive than a lot of other spaces you know someone can be in here recording their record someone can be you know doing overdubs for a record they recorded last week and we can be mixing and mastering a record from Los Angeles at the exact same time you know and really the only place that you'll run into a bottleneck is if you know there's a lot of dudes trying to make hot pockets or some shit <laughs> you know one microwave too many studios but <laughs> Well, I think that a lot will be changing on how people perceive Make Believe. Um, you know, we do a lot here, and we're going to be doing a lot more. Record making, video making, that's that's one thing, but I feel like it's, it's just the tip of the iceberg, and there's lots of talks on how we plan to 
proceed with Make Believe and what we intend to do, and don't get me wrong, we'll always be making records, so it's not like, oh, one day we're going to stop making records, but the fact that we, you know, I mean, we have all the the tools and things that we need to be a branding company or a marketing company or you know a company that produces digital content for the internet there's there's lots of things that we could go about doing but you know we'll always be making records because that's where it started I mean who doesn't love the music you know if I could say anything to anybody in in Omaha which I believe which this is the, the large market for what we're trying to do here today guys and you know what I what I would say is that you know work hard, work harder. You know, um, just watching a, a video about Tupac and and Malcolm King, and you know Tupac believed in, in Malcolm King's philosophy of you know live your life with the philosophy that there is no tomorrow, that you know there is only right now, and you know between you know the ages of 23 and 25. Tupac recorded 12 records, 10 that were released after his death. He starred in eight movies and released two books of poetry between 23 and 25. You know, I'm almost 28 years old. It's a lot to take in. It's a lot to, to look at, you know, and just because I don't remember whose quote it is, whether it's F. Scott Fitzgerald or somebody else, but there's a quote that says, just because you can't see the person who's smarter, faster, and hungrier around the corner does not mean that he is not there.